All right, y'all. We're back. Please don't think that I'm obsessed with this case. I just want to bring to the internet the same amount of information that they do. And when we do that, it combats what we talked about before, which is a flood of misinformation that lands up on the internet. So I want to show you what these professionals do. So I want to show you what these professionals do when you are on to when you are on to to them and to have them under a microscope. All they need to do is change their name on YouTube. And it's like you look for a video and then if you kind of look for a video, that video is gone. So we have this video on Connor Murphy's most extreme testosterone cycle under pioneers of human evolution. Okay, so if you try to look for this video again and you look under that tag, under that name, it disappears. Unless you go in and you find the real name. Tony Huge has now changed his channel name to Tony Huge Muscle Building. Are we getting close to the answers that we need? Oh, most definitely. And Tony Huge ain't the guy I want. All I want Tony Huge to do is feel the pressure, feel the squeeze, and to give up his boy. That's not really his boy or else he wouldn't have done what he did. In his household, he would have respected his household just like Leo did. Uh, he respected your household. He didn't commit any heinous crimes in your household. And Tony Huge, all you have to do is just, just, just give a swift kick to Connor and the and the tie girl. You still got your girl, so your girl and 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 your whole situation is cool. But the other situation that is still out there, you know, that situation you're gonna have to just you're, you're gonna have to cut off that loose end if you want to save yourself. The sad part is, is I know the laws of 10,000 hours. At this, at this rate, Connor's on pace to be a pro. If he practices at this rate, this amount, of, this amount of hours every day, he could be a pro. That's the sad part in all this. He didn't have to do all that to get the result and to be where he's at. Unless he sold his soul and this was a sacrifice to get to this spot. But I doubt that because you can't go anywhere with this. You can't. You can stay in your realm in Thailand and play golf. But like he could have gained all these accolades and done everything he wanted to do in life and actually made it to the PJ Tour without committing that act. Because looking at this shot, now he's on point with this. Shots like this every single day, 10,000 hours, for sure he could be a pro. That's the saddest part about this whole story. Other than the fact that you took a man away from his potential wife and child. His child will never be able to meet father because of you, Connor. Because of that same weapon that you're using right now. You understand? So obviously we're getting close, guys, when this man, Tony Huge, Tony Huge has all the power. He's the omniscient one. Connor Murphy is a pawn in Tony Huge's game. Uh, Tony Huge knows that he can use Connor for all his resources and use Connor in the same way that he used Leo. He can pay for everything. He can house the man. Obviously, Connor's sleeping in the same bed. He can fund this man's lifestyle. And cut him off at any point in time. Do you see what I'm saying? He can, he has all the resources to do that. So I know, and you guys know, we're all getting very close when the Pioneers of Human Evolution channel gets switched to Tony Huge Muscle Building. So then now we can not find these videos, 
but these videos still get monetary gain. They still get monetized. They still get viewed. They still get him money. Oh, and by the way, let's go here and let's go to Mr. After Dark. So this channel, unfortunately, with the RIP Leo, 101.15K subs, Mr. Mr. After Dark, yeah, this is also a channel that was made three months after Leo's death. This is also a channel run by Tony Huge. See, Tony, I wouldn't say that we're omniscient as well, but I know the YouTube algorithm. I know how all these analytics work, and I know how this game goes. You, just like Parent Fitness, are monetizing off of Leo and Longevity's death. Just like a record label, when they obtain a life insurance policy for their favorite star, their favorite rapper, and then... All of a sudden, that rapper gets murdered in the streets. Hmm. You beg to wonder, you beg to question, was this all planned? See, this has 138 videos. This, this channel is now monetized. And so all these videos are re-uploads of Leo and Tony on a, what, what is supposed to be a, you know, kind of just a, a fan page, I guess you could say, of Tony and Leo. No, guys. It's Tony Huge running this page in the backdrop monetizing Leo and Longevity's death. So, Tony, may I ask, is any of the proceeds from this channel, are they going to Lucy and his child? Laith's child, by chance? There's only a few ways to leverage the amount of power that we have. And the only power that we have in this scenario is Connor Murphy. So go ahead and throw Connor Murphy to the wolves. And I'm giving you my word that going into what you're doing and what, what's going on with that, that, that's disingenuous. The main goal is to solve the case of Leo and longevity. But when I start to expose you making guap off of Leo, I expose that you've now changed one of your pages. And let's take a look. Have we done it again? Let's take a look here. What's the other page? Oh, yeah. The other page was called Tony Huge Biohacking. <laughs> oh! Wait, to wait Tony, you, you, you had Vince make that video for you, right? About Leo. You, you, you don't want to be called... You don't want to have the, the moniker of biohack in your... In your name anymore? I wonder why, sir. Do you want us to call you Superhuman CEO now? Okay, yeah, we could do that. But you've changed the name of this channel too. So all eyes are on deck. You think this is just me working? I have people working. So if I die, like I said, if I die, this can this will continue on. This will not stop. Just if I if I pass away, this whole operation will not stop. It's it's just like. McAfee, you understand? I've already given the files to somebody else. And if I die, these files are already to be released for this operation to keep going. McAfee already gave his files away, just like I've given my files away, sir. So if I die a martyr, thank you, Lord, I've been put on this planet to do good. But don't think that this will stop just because I've given, you know, just because you, you've axed one outlet. I'm showing you, man, that we've boxed you into a corner. I don't want to have to go down the rabbit hole of your doctorate degree and releasing this information. And why didn't you use your law degree? And what, you know, Fo uh, Foxy's from Laos, right? She's a beautiful Laos woman. We know that from the interview you did with John Bravo. So, and I wonder why. Why aren't you doing any content with Connor anymore? Why you distance yourself from Connor? Hmm. And guys, for other newbies coming to my video saying Connor didn't do it, or on IG saying Connor didn't do it, and you get to this point in my video, this is a screenshot of the bathroom that Tony Huge gave to us. We would not have this picture, not even from crime scene photos. Tony Huge gave us this. So Tony Huge gave us the case. 
without us knowing it. I'm not going to do anything different. You're saying, oh, Connor didn't do this. It had to have been somebody else. It had to be. No, Connor stays with a golf club attached to his hip like LeBron James does to a basketball, like Pete Sampras does to a tennis racket, to Tom Brady in a football. <laughs> do you want me to keep going? Okay, so when you know that, we come down here, and do you see these right here? That's a five iron strike. That's a mid-range club. This little triangle is a five iron strike. This little triangle right there is a five iron strike. This little triangle in the porcelain is a five iron strike. You guys don't believe me? Take a look there. There's your five iron. There's your mid range. You see the indent indentation marks. So, oh man. Holy shit. Oh my God. When we know that this is laminate flooring, this is a trigger warning. So anybody that gets to this point in the video, this is a trigger warning. This is laminate flooring. So the only way, so the only way that you would get indentation marks in this form and fashion is if there was already blood, there was pooling of blood that had been coagulating on that laminate flooring that makes that laminate start to be a little bit moist so you you think that the man's already dead and you come back and you whack this boy's head in see up top you, you, if it's fresh laminate like up top it's a harder surface okay but if there's something if there's a wet substance that is actually waiting in that laminate it's going to almost be squishy and so it's going to be squishy and they come back after Leo has been dead and they come and whack some more. These type of intricacies, we would not have been able to come to without a team effort and without hours and hours and hours of research. This is laminate flooring that has had coagulated blood on it for hours, maybe days. And you come back and you whack at it. Tony Huge, would you like to change your course of action? Because the more and more I look at these crime scene photos, brother, I, I, I actually gain new insight. I am dumbfounded. I am... I'm dumbfounded. Yeah, guys, every single time I re reanalyze this stuff, I come to a new conclusion. But this is why the codes that I live by, the principles that I teach, I simply cannot go to law enforcement. Not that they would do anything anyway. This is out of jurisdiction until it reaches our jurisdiction. I'm just showing you what I would do if I was handed this case. And how I would have already leveraged Kenneth right when that situation happens. We leverage Kenneth to leverage Tony to leverage Foxy to give up Connor. It's that simple. And Connor is getting a little bit too big for his britches. You know those Gucci shorts? He's getting too big for his britches. And um, I think the a lot of the uh, taunting is going to stop. Because when you taunt the dead... That's when karma, karma doesn't have anything to do with God or good versus evil. That's the world. That's the earth. That is our pineal gland, our one with the earth. Uh, karma will come back to you. So when you mock the dead, no, no YouTube video that can be made is going to stop what is inevitably going to be your fate. Do you understand what I'm saying? So it's like, it's very simple. What I have to do with that is n n no YouTube video that I can make is going to satisfy what karma has in store for Mr. Murphy. But if anyone else wants to run with this and do what they need to do, that's fine. But I'm talking about Connor, Tony, Kanatha, 
and Foxy, the four individuals that were there. And then Vigorous Steve was in town. Straight Cody was in town. Y'all went shooting not more than 10 hours later, right? You guys wanted to make it look like a normal day. Y'all went shooting the following day. Y'all went and put up the Ladyboy content on your main channel, Tony, in order for that channel to get waxed so you didn't have to pull all the videos down and make it look as suspicious as it did. Because you could have pulled the videos. Instead, you ended up putting the Ladyboy content on your main channel knowing it's going to get whacked. Fair play. 4D chess move. I fuck with that. Good play. Oh, the, oh, the channel got taken down because of the Ladyboy content. No, you purposely put the Ladyboy content on your main profile because you knew those videos that your editor and your three to four editors, they couldn't edit out as much information that you put. Like, come on, bro. You don't have an editor, chief. You don't. Who's editing your videos now? You. And you're putting them up on these side profiles. How many do you have, brother? It's a lot. Enhanced Labs, Tony Huge Biohacking, Black Ox, like you have so, dude, you, uh, Tony has about, I'd be willing to bet about 15 different YouTube pages, 15. They are masterminds at the YouTube algorithm and the internet space. That's why it said Leo Rex, Leo and Longevity, dead at 34. Tony gave the guy the title for the Patea News. The title of the Pattaya News was information that Tony gave right to the news outlet. And you guys don't believe that it's 1984 in the flesh and that Tony is a mastermind and a genius when it comes to media manipulation. Let's go back. The Tiger.com. Obviously a news outlet in Thailand. Not possible anyone else was involved in Leo Rex. He's manipulated this new news this news outlet too look this news outlet cannot be trusted the friend who discovered the body of American fitness youtuber Leo Rex aka Leo and longevity at his home in Pattaya Eastern Thailand on Monday says it's not possible anyone else was involved in his death Charles Anthony Hughes AKA Tony Huge released a video statement about the death of 34 year old Laith Abdullah Aliaz. My fault if I chopped up the last name, but. <laughs> they basically take Tony's word for it, word for word. I'm trying to be so open, honest, and transparent about everything. It would have been impossible for someone else to have caused this on him. The way that the door was inside of the bathroom. There's no possible way. There's so. There's no possible way there was someone in the bathroom with him. He didn't. He also didn't die from anything sudden or acute. <laughs> okay, so you're basically using the Connor Murphy method, the reverse psychology method. So you're basically taking the Connor Murphy method, the reverse psychology thing. Don't sub to this channel. Don't don't look at this. Don't look at this because it might harm you. And then everyone clicks on it. Anytime you say that, I I don't even click on it. <laughs> it doesn't work on me. Yes, I told you this video and this research is borehole deep. This rabbit hole is borehole deep. Yes, what you were looking at is Tony Hughes' story screenshotting the Connor Murphy Leaks channel that Connor created. And it is saying that Connor is saying that he was hacked and that whole page was made up. And then Tony co-signs Connor and says, help Connor Murphy find the perpetrator. Major violation of privacy. If anyone has any information, contact Connor. Oh, we are contacting Connor right now, Tony, through your video. <laughs> what are you do you really think people are that well yeah people are this dumb because it fooled everybody else but it didn't fool me sir i'm solving a rubik's cube at the same time i'm making this video can you believe this guys insulting our intelligence in this form and fashion tony huge is saying that connor is saying that his account his profile was hacked 
all those videos were made on Connor Murphy's page. And Connor, and now he's screenshotting and said, help Connor find the person who hacked Connor's phone. Bro, are you dead ass? Ooh, we, I cannot wait for the real ones, for everybody. I, the real ones to see this video or my real ones that click on it right when it comes out. Because there's always new information that comes out. But when John Bravo watches this, when Connor sees this, when Tony gets to this point, Tony, you better just block Connor's number and get ready to, yeah, go ahead and throw the seasoning on that boy. Make that boy sizzle. Because you know the FBI is watching this. If, they've got, if, they've, if you've gotten to this point, the FBI has gotten to this point. So the FBI, just in case y'all know who I am, right? Making this video, put a little couple drones on me. Just FYI, put a couple drones on me 24-7. Because some shit might pop off my way. You feel me? Because these guys are clowns. Biohacking bitches. It's not like he took some kind of drug and had a heart attack or anything like that. There was a noise coming from the room for like 15, 20 minutes, I remember. Yeah, it was your buddy upstairs, Connor Murphy, whacking his head in. This is very telling. He also didn't die from anything sudden or acute. Well, that's the reverse psychology play because he sure did because he was introduced to a five iron to the side of his head. Go look at Lucy's video where she breaks down the autopsy photos. A two by set, a two by four centimeter gash right over his orbital bone. It's the perfect dimensions of a golf club. Look, he paid this dude off too. He paid this this news article outlet off too. The police have done a lot of forensics work and a lot of photos and a lot of interviews, and hopefully they'll find more information. But it's a really confusing situation. Without giving a lot of the graphic details, it's just not possible anyone else was involved. Okay. See, look, see, oh my God. And so Tony gives the news outlet bad inf information on, to on, on Leo. Leo Rex reportedly moved to Thailand after his ex-wife Lucy divorced him and filed a domestic violence restraining order against him last year. Wow. So you give the Thai news outlet dirt on Leo for the article. Man, Tony, bro, I would suggest that... You give up your boy Connor, man, or we're going hard in the paint like Ben Wallace. Do you see how bad this guy is? Anybody with information, you hit this comment section and we talk and then we can we can we can we can brainstorm on the next move. Or else, Tony, hit up John to hit up his Pattaya News Connect and have him get the shackles ready for that boy, Michael Murphy. It's time. Good morning, American friend. There will be trouble if you go this way. A good Turk always walks to the right. Left is communist, right is good. All right, man. Come on. No. See, you, you must go the other way. The, the, the other way is good. Because you are a fucking scumbag. Giving dirt to a news outlet. On your boy Leo. He's good. He's great. He's great. This is why this has been intriguing because it's just, it's very astounding what one person can do with the amount of power, knowledge, and money, and resources, and just strict in knowledge of how media really works in this day and age. You can make anything you want fact today, which is very scary. He's a smart man. I wish he would have went the legal route. I wish he wouldn't have thrown people out of burning buildings. You know what I'm saying? I wish he would have actually put what's supposed to be in capsules and sold it as such. You know what I'm saying? Don't make me break open these, these, these pharmaceuticals, brother. Because I know for a fact that what you are saying is in there is not in there. Because if you had 15, 16 different supplements, you would have to break it up and make it multiple capsules into one capsule into one serving you'd have to have just like animal pack has it's like a it's it's like a bundle of pills so if you want to put that many different supplements in one formulation it'd be a bundle of pills that you're selling in one bottle but you'd have to break open a package like you do animal packs correct okay well i beef up my security i tool up 
and then we go down that rabbit hole. And I tell my my conglomerate, yo, if something happens to me and I got to go underground, pu start pumping these videos out. I've already dispersed the information, sir. So, Tone, do the right thing. Yeah, that, that relationship is splintered, hasn't it? I wonder why. You're not going to get in trouble, man, if you just... That was your house. You're like, look, man, I don't know what this man was about to do in my house. It's, it's right there. The, the outlet is right there for the taking, brother. You do what needs to be done. You cut the loose end. And then this all stops. Tony, this all stops. I promise you, it all stops. With the conclusion of this case. So why don't you... Why don't you, Vigorous Steve, Straight Cody... Kenneth, Foxy, John Bravo, Vince Goodrum. Why don't you guys, since you all are running a conglomerate, how about you get together and you make the decision to throw Connor to the authorities, to the rightful authorities. Since he's still in Pattaya, go ahead and tell Foxy to tell the police. Yeah, go ahead and nab him, man. We, we, like... You know, we were we were worried because this is my house. I didn't want to I didn't want to say anything. But listen, like, I feel like if we come to the conclusion that, you know, it was this this happened here. The, Connor was just a guest in my house. Hey, it's right there for the taking, sir. So take it. Guys, we are on the right track when these individuals are switching names and they don't want to put biohack in their titles. And come on, man. We're all we're doing is trying to get down to one goal, one solution, in one case. All the rest stops at that point in time. It's ICU, and everything about us is blue collar. We gets it out the mud. I'm curious, why are you changing your names and switching up? Stay tuned.